He's standing at the defender's bench. This is so cool. so much. I love stories that create rules and follow them. I hate when it suddenly books them to get a cheap ending. <laughs> yeah, the judge is over there like, do you mind? I'm trying to hand down a verdict here. slowly starting to add more bits and pieces to the trial system. There'll be uh, a few more over the course of this. This particular one. Eganaze, the Inferno spell, summons a circle of flame within a one meter radius of the caster, requires an incantation and a scepter to cast. Well, the incantation was heard, but there was no scepter found at the scene. My dear stream chat, I believe I have found a contradiction. Where was Scepter indeed? Nah, he's making bakery puns. Sure to read this carefully. A clear contradiction.
it's never a good sign when you look up and uh, <laughs> see the judge weighing the trial over in his mind. Do you really need a hint coin for this? Of course I'll give up. No, I'm just kidding. Hold it. Objection. Objection. Yeah, we're going with the scepter route for this. Personally, like you guys say, I think she was framed. Defense is that. Yeah, I should have, but I'm an idiot. I don't think that would have flown in a real call. Let's do the shit. Now, as you know, she needs a scepter in order to be able to cast magic. She couldn't have held it in this hand, because look, there's a bucket. She could have held it in this hand, but there's nothing there. Got it. took that a lot better than I was expecting. There's nothing I like worse than when a prosecutor doesn't react wildly. Layton's probably seen the outcome of this trial already. See what I mean? Calm prosecutor is never a good sign. He has the scepter, doesn't he? Yep. I'm seeing a red gem in there, similar to the one uh, for the Eganaze spell. That's not nice, that's ageist. One's Egan, I guess, what's the other spell? <laughs> I 
Let's see what we got here. I don't think it's a freezing spell somehow. I think it's one that's a lot more sneaky. Dimir, the vanishing spell, causes anything the caster touches to vanish from sight. Simply chant Emir to make it reappear. Oof. This might hurt us a lot actually. and that desk is going bye bye well, I can already see a flaw in this argument she would have had to say the incantation and only the word eagerness was heard No shit. Well, on the plus side, it means we don't have to do any of that uh, evidence swabbing shit from the fifth case of Ace Attorney 1. Ooh, blow into the microphone. So intuitive. I know there's a lot of stuff I don't know. I should be able to turn that around and become a genius. As someone in the chat says, the bucket hadn't disappeared at that point. She couldn't have used the spell. Also, the incantation wasn't heard. I'm sticking to that line of logic. If this olden time court doesn't like it, they can frankly suck it. Objection. That's right. That's Leighton's turn to give the objections.
And the art styles are a little jarring. Uh, I'll agree on that. But they grow on me after a while. You know what's funny? Leighton made a uh, objection kind of gesture in the very first game. I'm not sure how true this is, but apparently he was designed as like a clone of Phoenix, but with all of Phoenix's flaws like either toned down or removed. So in many ways, Leighton is the better Phoenix Wright. But Phoenix, he's got the heart. I'm pretty sure in the original build of the game, it was the judge who said the burden of proof lies on the defense. But then again, there was a lot of stuff I noticed wasn't in the final game. Like there was a cutscene of Luke and Mayer in a library reading from a book. That never came to pass. Go away. What a useless witness. What? <sighs> Wordsmith's just a bit lonely. Sir Top Hat, if you don't mind. Or Leighton. Whichever. Okay. A few of those statements were uh, contradictory. I'm not sure which to press though, I may need to use a hint coin for this. I don't doubt that, but I do doubt you actually saw anything. Well, I've got a ton of hint coins, may as well start using them up. Just as I thought, no dice. Nope. Oh, it wants me to present something. Okay. Ah, you see, the hint coins got rid of all possible wrong answers for presenting as well. Objection. That's a bargain. 
It was testimony and evidence. I'd wager it would uh, be pretty hard to hold that around your wrist and use the scepter at the same time because uh, Espada's a skinny girl who has skinny wrists. Objection. This objection variation is really nice. It all comes tumbling down. Get a bit riled up about this. see what's wrong with the lantern. That's right, go flog your flowers elsewhere. You'll see what the new cornered theme sounds like soon. Where are her glasses then? The answer is no. Her testimony is uh, pretty much worthless. Ha! Got her. Huh. I 
don't want to say what I'm thinking just yet. It might give the game away. your rubbery sword of justice. Anyone makes Phoenix look dweeby. That's the point of Phoenix. This is something I came to realise over the course of the game. It's not that Leighton is so much better, it's that Phoenix is a dweeb. It's consistent. <laughs> 